A dishonest dealer uses a scale of 90 cm instead of a meter scale and claims to sell at cost price. What is his profit? Okay, first of all, let us assume that this scale's price or the price at which the this dealer buys this scale is 1 rupees per centimeter. So the cost at which he buys any material that he measures using the scale is basically 1 times 90. So cost price is 90. Okay, but to the user, he says that this is a meter scale, right? Which means 100 centimeter scale. So to the user or to the person to whom this, this dealer sells uh, anything, any article that he measures using the scale, he says that it is a 100 centimeter scale. So according to this cost price of 1 rupees per centimeter, he sells the user at 100 rupees. Okay, so the selling price is 100. Right now, what is asked is profit percentage. Basically, what is this profit percentage? So we know the formula for profit percentage. Profit percentage is equal to profit upon the cost price times hundred. Right. So profit is selling price minus cost price, which is hundred minus ninety, which is ten. Upon the cost price is ninety times hundred. Okay, these zeros get cancelled out. We have hundred divided by nine. And that is 11 point something. So this answer is not in our options. So our correct answer is option D. A shopkeeper professes to sell his goods at cost price, but uses a weight of 800 grams instead of a kilogram weight. Thus, he makes a profit off. Okay, firstly, let us assume that the cost at which this shopkeeper buys his goods is 1 rupees per gram. So this shopkeeper sells his goods using a kilogram weight, but which is not a kilogram weight, which is an 800 gram weight, but it shows that it is a kilogram weight. So his selling price will be equal to um, this shopkeeper also tells that he is selling goods at the cost price. So the cost price is 1 rupees per gram. So selling price equals to 1 times 1 kg is 1000 grams. So 1 times 1000. So the selling price at which this shopkeeper sells goods is 1000 rupees. Okay. Now we have the cost price equals to, but he uses the weight of 800 gram instead of a kilogram. So basically he gets the goods at 800 rupees. 1 times 800 grams is 800 rupees. So cost price is less than the selling price. Basically he makes profit. So profit percentage is equals to profit which is selling price minus cost price. 1000 minus 800 is 200 upon the cost price which is 800 times 100 which gives you the profit percentage. So these zeros get cancelled out. I have 200 by 8. So 4 to the 8 4 fives are 20 and uh, 4 times 50 is 200 so it is equal to 25 percent so I think option C is the correct answer a fair price shopkeeper takes 10 percent profit on his goods he lost 20 percent goods during the theft what is his loss percentage Okay, let us assume that this shopkeeper has 100 items and these items he bought at the rate of rupees 1 per item. Okay, so we can calculate the cost price of all of these items. Cost price is equal to 100 times 1 which is 100 rupees. Now it is said that this shopkeeper lost 20% goods during theft which means that there were 100 items and there was a theft in his shop and out of those 100 items, 20 items got stolen. So items left is equal to 80, 100 minus 20. Now let us calculate the selling price on each item. While we have the cost price on each item as rupees 1, it is said that the shopkeeper takes 10% profit on his goods. So selling price of each item is equal to 10% increase in the cost price of each item. Okay, so the cost price of one item, which is one, 
plus 10 percent of 1 so 10 by 100 times 1 so this is actually 1.1 1 .1. so the selling price of each item is 1.1 1 .1. what is the selling price of 80 items because we only have 80 items left 20 items were stolen so selling price of 80 items is equal to 1.1 1 .1, which is the selling price of one item times 80 so this is equals to 88 rupees so the selling price is 88 rupees we have the cost price so we can calculate the loss percentage selling price is less than the cost price so loss percentage is equals to the loss which is cost price minus selling price 100 minus 88 divided by the cost price which is 100 times 100 so this 100 and 100 get cancelled out what remains is 100 minus 88 is 12 so 12 percent is the loss percentage so option d a sells a bicycle to b at a profit of 20 percent b sells it to c at a profit of 25 percent if C pays rupees 225 for it, the cost price of the bicycle for A is. Well, let us assume that the cost price of this bicycle for A is X rupees. Now he sold this bicycle to B at a profit of 20%, which means the selling price for A is equals to this cost price increased by 20%. So 100 plus 20 percent of x so 100 plus 20 upon 100 x so this can be written as 120 x upon 100 now b actually paid this much amount to buy this bicycle from a so basically this is also the cost price for b right now b sells this bicycle to c at a profit of 25 percent so the selling price for b can be written as the cost price for B increased by 25%. Now the cost price for B is 120x upon 100. So this is equal to 100 plus 25, that means 25% increase divided by 100 times the cost price. So cost price is times 120x upon 100. Now this is also equal to the cost price for C because B sold it. To C and C paid this much amount for the bicycle so this is cost price for C now it is said that C pays 225 rupees for it so I can say that this cost price is equal to 225 so I can write this as 100 plus 25 is 125 upon 100 times 120 X upon 100 is equals to C paid 225 rupees for this so is equals to 225 now 25 times 4 is 100, 25 times 5 is 125. Now 4 times 30 is 120. Now this 0 get cancelled out. 5 times 2 is 10. So 3x by 2 is equal to 225. Therefore x is equal to 225 times 2 by 3. So 3 times 75 is 225. Therefore, x is equals to 75 times 2 is 150. So we have our answer, option C, which is the cost price for A.